given these three statements regarding hash function, we need to find the statements that are true. Let's start with the definition of hash function. A hash function is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size to fixed size. So let's take an example of a hash function k mod 10. Output of this function is the remainder when k is divided by 10. So when a number is divided by 10, there are 10 possibilities, 0 to 9. So we have fixed the output to these 10 values. So input, on the other hand, can be any number. There is no upper limit to this number. So this function k mod 10 is a hash function because it's going to map the input or the key of arbitrary size to these 10 values. Now let's map these values to the hash value. So 1312 when divided by 10 leaves 2 as remainder. Next number 54 when divided by 10 leaves 4 as remainder. For any number when we divide it by 10 the last digit is the remainder. So 430 is mapped to 0. Next number to 7. Next to 5. And next number to 2. So it is clear from this example that multiple keys are getting mapped to the same hash value. So this statement is also very obvious as in the output we have only 10 choices but input is very large it can be any number. So of course there will be multiple keys mapping to the same hash value. So first statement is the definition a hash function takes a message of arbitrary length and generates a fixed length code and statement third we have just seen a hash function may give the same hash value for distinct messages. So the correct statements are first and third.